All right, Pickle, one last thing to do today, and that is to unveil the Week 8 Dave Campbell's Texas Football Associated Press Texas High School Football Statewide Rankings. These are the official rankings of record in Texas high school football. Dave Campbell's Texas Football has been the official rankings provider of the Associated Press since 2019. We've put out uh, the state's most respected Texas high school football rankings for decades. We're very excited uh, about our partnership with the Associated Press for the past uh yeah, five years or so. Really excited about that. You can find all the rankings at texasfootball.com slash rankings. Let's start with the largest classification pickle, where a few changes mostly at the bottom. In fact, the top 18 all are unchanged. Number 19, Tomball Memorial crashes out with their loss to Klein Collins. We'll get to them in a moment. And as a result, a lot of teams nudge up a spot. N San Antonio Reagan up a spot to number 19. Rockwall up a spot to number 20. Prosper up a spot to number 21. Dripping Springs, big game this week against Westlake. They're up to number 22. Coppell nudges up a spot with a win over Flower Mount Marcus to number 23. Katie Jordan up to number 24. And newly ranked... The Klein Collins Tigers, who took down Tom Ball Memorial, that earns them the number 25 spot in the rankings. Top five entirely unchanged. Top 10 unchanged, actually. Duncanville, Galena Park, North Shore, DeSoto, Austin Westlake, Austin Vandergrift, South Lake Carroll, Humble at Tascosita, Katie, North Crowley, and Humble Summer Creek at number 10. Summer Creek did lose to Galena Park, North Shore, but it was such a... It, they gave we, them a fight. We talked uh, uh, internally about this, and we decided to keep them at number 10. We thought that uh, the teams behind them, Lake Travis, Cibolo Steel, McKinney uh, specifically, we think that Summer Creek has the better resume and is the better team right now. Now, certainly things can change. Uh, in fact, McKinney's got a big game with Allen this week. If they win that game, let's talk. Uh, but for now, we keep num Humble Summer Creek number 10 despite the loss. To 5A we go. 5A Division One. Chalk, entirely unchanged, nothing to see here. Top five remains unchanged. Alito, Longview, Mansfield, Timberview, Port Memorial, and Fullshire, all unbeaten with the exception of Longview, lost that season over to McKinney. Uh, Frisco Lone Star did give a, get a scare, need overtime to beat Frisco Centennial. <laughs> What's new? Um, keep an eye on that. Watch this space. They're still here, still ranked. Kept them at number nine, but just watch this space. Uh, Forney, despite the loss to Longview, we keep them in the rankings as well. We thought that they gave the number two team in the state all they wanted, and that is good enough to stay at the number 10 spot. 5A Division Two now. A couple of changes at the bottom. Fort Ben Marshall, a bit of a head-scratching loss to Texas City. They crash out of the rankings, as does number 10 Belton, who lost to Leander Rouse. Uh, as a result, Lovejoy nudges up a spot to number eight. New to the rankings. The 6-0 Alamo Heights Mules, number 9 in the state with a 50-0 drubbing of San Antonio Jefferson, now 6-0. And back into the rankings, the Argyle Eagles, the number 10 team in the state after their win over previously unbeaten Lake Dallas. They get another unbeaten team as they take on Frisco Emerson, number 2 this week. Tasty, tasty, tasty stuff. 4A we go. Number 9 El Campo crashes out with their loss to Bay City. Uh, they got a big test this week against aforementioned Needville. Give them a moment. Number 9 Brownwood is up a spot after their win over Big Spring. And new to the rankings, the top 10 Needville Blue Jays. 7-0, big winners over Navasota ahead of their big game this week against El Campo. Watch this space. El Campo and Needville going out this week. Top 5 remains unchanged for Division 1. Tyler Chapel Hill, Bernie, Salina, Anna, and China Spring. China Spring got in a weird game. They mm -hmm. were down like 14 nothing to Alvarado and then like rang off 64 straight as one does it was weird yeah anyway for a division two now a couple of changes here Pleasant Grove a drubbing of Gilmer that crashed the number nine Buckeyes out uh number eight Graham loses to Wichita Falls Hershey they crash out of the rankings Monahan's moves up two spots to number eight into the rankings, the Canyon West Plains Wolves at number nine. Big winners over Seminole, uh, previously unbeaten Seminole. And into the rankings, the Center Rough Riders, five and one on the year. They were idle, but they uh, but a spot opened up, and they were next on deck. They are back into the rankings. Top five remains unchanged, though. Carthage, Silsby, Pleasant Grove, Quero, and Wimberley. To 3A we go. Nothing really to say in 3A Division One except at the very bottom. Number 10, Mule Shoe loses to Bushland. Uh, as a result, Mule Shoe is out. Bushland in! Number 10 team in the state, the Bushland Falcons, with a big win over Mule Shoe. The top five of teams remain unchanged. Franklin, Columbus, Malakoff, Hitchcock, and Winsboro. We've got two top 10 matchups here. Columbus at Hitchcock and Winsboro at Pottsboro. Yeah, Winsboro at Pottsboro. So, two big games in 3A Division One. We will do a lot of sorting this week. Three Division Two, 
Uh, Gunner drops a hammer on Bells, just launches them into the sun. Uh, as a result, Bells drops out of the rankings at number eight. Holiday nudges up a spot to number eight. Littlefield up a spot to number nine. And back into the rankings, the number 10 Dangerfield Tigers winners over Dane, over New Diana. That gets them back into the rankings. Top five unchanged. Gunner, Canadian, Tidehaven, Hooks, and Newton. To 2A we go. 2A Division One, Chalk. Everyone won with the exception of Timpson and Beckville, who took the week off. Top 10 unchanged, including the top five, Timpson, Refurio, Toller, Cooper, and Stratford. Then, 2A Division II, Chalk! Everyone was a winner with the exception of Seymour, who was idle at number 10. Top five remains unchanged. Albany, Mart, New Home, Chilton, and Collinsville, your top five. By the way, Sunray put it on Lubbock Christian, mm -hmm. and that was impressive. That was a state-ranked Lubbock yes. Christian squad. Uh, very impressive win there. Watch this space. To the six-man ranks we go. 1A Division One. Abbott beats Aquila 52-6 to six in resounding fashion. Uh, really impressive from Abbott. They hold on to their number three spot. That drops Aquila out of the rankings. Uh, in uh, that, uh, I believe that nudges up a spot for Miami and for Rankin, up to up number eight and number nine, respectively. And back into the rankings, the number 10 Borden County Coyotes at five and one. They were idle, but they were next on deck, and the spot opened up. Top five remains unchanged. Gordon, Knox City, Abbott, Westbrook, and Jonesboro. And in 1A Division Two, this actually is a lot simpler than it looks. Mm -hmm. Nope, go Sorry. back. This is actually a lot simpler. Whoa, hello, hello. There we go. A lot simpler than it looks. Oh, I got to fix that. Richland Springs should be number four. Uh, their logo's right, but the name is wrong. Richland Springs is number four, and Cherokee is number six. Our I got to fix that on the graphic. Off. Yes, our pets' heads are falling off. <laughs> Richland Springs is the number four team. They swap places with Cherokee, who they beat. Uh, they're 40 to 32. That is the only change in the rankings. Uh, so your new top five is Benjamin, Oglesby, Jayton, Richland Springs, and Klondike. I need to fix that graphic before we post it on social media. So uh, Richland, Richland Springs is the number four team in the state. Graphic is right. Wording is wrong. And the private school ranks. The private school 11-man rankings got a total makeover this week. Bel Air Episcopal loses to Houston St. John's. That drops them out of the rankings. Lubbock Christian gets drilled by Sunray. They drop out of the rankings. As a result, did a little bit of fine-tuning. Dallas Christian bounces back up to number two. New to the rankings, the number three Houston St. John's Mavericks, who get a big win over Bel Air Episcopal. Austin Regents up a spot to number four. And new to the rankings, Argyle Liberty Christian, coached by one Jason Witten, 6-0 and on the year, unbeaten, and now state-ranked big win over Fort Worth Christian, 78-13. Private school six-man ranks, much less exciting. Everyone was a winner with the exception of Pasadena First Baptist and East Texas Homeschool, who were idle, but your top five, Pasadena First Baptist, Fort Worth Covenant class Classical, Conroe Covenant, Bastard Tribe Consolidated, and East Texas Homeschool. There they are. Your Week 8, Dave Campbell's Texas Football Associated Press, Texas High School Football State Rankings. You can find all the rankings at texasfootball.com slash rankings. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to texasfootball.com slash subscribe.